My name is Kevin Kaltzman. I'm the general manager here at Don K in Whitefish, Montana. I'm also the owner of this 2021 Jeep Wrangler 4xE. Today I'm going to tell you some of the features and benefits of what these 4xEs have to offer. First you got a lot of this electric blue accenting, so on the tow hooks, you got the hood decal here around the cymbals, and then of course we also have the charge door. So there's a few different interior features that are different on the 4xEs. So you can obviously see all the electric blue stitching all around the interior on the seats and on the dash and on the doors. Also, we have a few different drive modes on these buttons over here. Also the max regen button right there, uh, the charging indicator on the dash, and then of course, the battery underneath the back seat. This battery is a 400 volt, 17 kilowatt lithium ion battery pack. One of the best things about these 4xEs is how much power they have. So they have 470 foot pound of torque and 375 horsepower when in hybrid mode. So that combines the battery pack and the 2.0 liter turbo together to make that power. That actually enables it to do zero to 60 in under six seconds. The extra torque and horsepower is also better for the trail. There's actually two electric motors in this hybrid system. First, there's the e-torque system that helps move the vehicle from a stop. And second, there is a main electric motor in the transmission itself. So the next thing I'm gonna go over is the three modes of operation buttons. So this determines how and when the pure electric range is used. First one is hybrid mode. That is uh, the electric motor and gas motor working together to get the most power possible. The next one's electric mode, where it only uses the electric motor unless more torque is required. Uh, the next one is e-save mode, which uses the gas motor only. So the reason for doing this, for example, uh, my favorite trail off-road on is 20 miles away. So I like to save the electric for once I get to the trail. All right, there's two different ways we can charge our Wrangler 4xE. The first one is by using the level one charger that came with your car. So you just plug this in to the car. This end goes into 110 outlet, so you don't have anything special needed to plug this in, okay? The other option is a level two charger, so that requires a 220 connection, okay? These are at some businesses, or you can get these and solve at your home, okay? After you plug this in, you'll see the charging indicator up here will light up. Each one of those lights stands for 20% charge, so we're almost 100%, you see that last one's flashing. Okay, so the difference in charge time for a level one is gonna take overnight, so that's personally what I use at my house. Uh, I plug it in every night, just like a cell phone. In the morning, it's charged. With a level two, you're more around two, two and a half hours to charge it. Probably comes as no surprise, but the Wrangler 4xE gets a lot better gas mileage. Okay, people ask me how far do you get? So I got 565 miles on my first tank of gas uh, with a 17.2 gallon tank that equates to a little over 30 miles per gallon. So again, it's just gonna depend on how fast you drive, how often you charge, all those things. All right, to sum it all up, you're gonna get better gas mileage, more power, and you're gonna get a $7,500 tax incentive when purchasing it, or a $7,500 rebate when you lease it. So come see us at Don K. If you wanna learn more, take it for a test drive. That's the website.